From the Chico Unified Parent who's suing the school district. Action News Now reporter Margot Rowe spoke with the mother who claims a school counselor helped her daughter consider a gender transition without telling her about it. I am shocked that the district wouldn't have just stopped this and said, oh my gosh, like we don't want this to go on in our schools. Aurora Regino is suing Chico Unified School District for socially transitioning her daughter's gender identity without her knowledge. Regino says her daughter told a school counselor she felt like a boy, and then the counselor persuaded her to take up male pronouns and name. Her lawsuit claims the school started transitioning her daughter in December, and she didn't find out about it for months. Um, it was April when I found out. Regino told me during that time her daughter was bullied, her mental health got worse, and her daughter was uncomfortable with the sudden transition she didn't fully understand. Regino went to the school to address why she wasn't informed on the transition and told it was part of California Law Assembly Bill 1266. I checked, the actual bill doesn't mention a parental secrecy policy, but on the California Department of Education's website in the Frequently Asked Questions section, it states that if a school discloses a student is transgender, even to the parents, it may be a violation in California's anti-discrimination law. I brought it up with the principal and we had gotten an argument over the phone over the fact that she was arguing that it was a law and I told her that it's not a law, it's a law meant for discrimination. It's not a law to keep parents in the dark. Regina also went to CUSD's board members. She said they all told her the same thing. The counselor acted within the law. I spent the last six months working my way up the chain of command within the district and not saying anything because I just wanted them to make sure this didn't happen to any more kids and um, to get, you know, the door closed on me each time and telling me it's the law. I just felt like somebody has to protect our children. I did visit Chico Unified School District to see if anybody would talk to me and they told me no one was able to meet with me and they're reviewing the lawsuit. Regino's daughter has transferred schools, and Regino says she just wants issues like these to not be hidden from parents. No matter whatever happens with a lawsuit, um, I just want this to stop. I want parents to voice their opinions and make sure that this doesn't happen to any more kids. Regino told me since her daughter has transferred to a new school, she has been blossoming and her mental health is improving. In Chico, I'm Margot Rowe for Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Chico Unified School District is having a school board meeting tomorrow night at 6 p.m. at Marigold Elementary. And you can look at AB 1266 for yourself. It's under news links.